today we will create glowing lyrics. What am I supposed to do? Cause it feels so good. Feeling wild like a soup. Put me in a mood. Ha ha ha. Put me in a mood. Make a new composition. It's 1920 by 1080 in quality. Keeping 30 seconds for tutorial purpose. Turn the safe margins on. Put song on timeline. Using the text tool, type down the text. You can search for signature fonts on Google similar to this. Open scale and add a keyframe. Move it forward. Put a fade effect to it. And set both to 4%. Now add a very tiny value in scale to add another keyframe. Go to the graph editor. Select both points and press this button to form a curve. Then make something like this. What? What? Trim your layer like this. What? Open position and add a keyframe. Go forward and move the text upwards. Go to the graph editor. Select both points and make a curve. What am I Push keyframes to adjust the sync. What am then trim the layer. Make a duplicate. Push it forward and overwrite. What am I I'll adjust the keyframes and layer to make a better sync. Delete the second position keyframe from duplicate layer. Move it to the left to add a new keyframe. Adjust its graph. Make another duplicate. Move it forward and overwrite. Adjust its scale keyframes. Try to make it appear side by side. Now make them both go downwards. Duplicate the first layer, put it above, and overwrite it with new word. Duplicate the other two layers and overwrite them. Make this layer go in a diagonal way, instead of up and down. Just move this position point to where you want it to slide. Again make a duplicate. Open its position. From the layer's beginning point move the text to upper right direction. Don't forget to overwrite.
make a duplicate once again. Then move its lower left position point to upper right. I hope you get the idea. Just try to make a nice sliding movement. I will fast forward this process until we move to coloring stage. After writing the text, make a new adjustment layer and rename it as wave. Then put a wave warp effect to it. Trim the layer similar to the text layer. Open the menu to see the wave effect values. Make height 0%. Then add a keyframe at the beginning. Now change the value to add another keyframe. You can adjust width and angle. Actually swap the keyframes, so they start with high value and falls down to zero. Then adjust the graph editor like this. When you play, it should look like this. Perhaps increase the starting value to make it more prominent. Now make a duplicate of wave layer and place it where the second word appears. Make one more duplicate and put it around next word. Keep duplicating in place where you feel like it. You can also play with the wave types. Let's move to the coloring stage. After making waves for all the text layers select everything. Right click and pre-compose. Give it a name. Make sure these are checked then hit OK. Now create an adjustment layer. Call it glow. Put full color gradient to it. These are color points. Push them closer to the text to make them affect the text more vibrant. Now I will put a deep glow effect. This is a third party glow effect which is very good. It's a paid plugin that you can download through their website or simply use the native After Effects glow. I will increase the exposure and tweak a few settings until it looks lit up enough and interesting. Let's add some movement to the text. Add an adjustment layer. I will name it as Wiggle. Place it below the glow layer. Put a wiggle position effect to it. Your text should start moving now. You can always adjust the movement amount and frequency from these settings. Now we'll add particles to finish it up. Download any particle footage from the internet. Just perform a Google search and you'll find many free ones available. Put this overlay on your timeline. Place it above all layers for now. Put a linear color key effect to it. Select the black color. It will help you isolate the particles and eliminate empty areas. Then simply place this layer below these adjustment layers and you are done. Hope you find this helpful. I will be back with more tutorials soon. Goodbye.